This is a wild story. New from Orlando, there are big questions tonight about what is going to happen to this house in Waveview Park now that a boundary dispute has reached a whole new level. Check out this new fence. It splits a pool in two. Channel 9 Shannon Butler is live there in downtown Orlando. It's just south of downtown. And Shannon, this fence has neighbors scratching their heads and wondering what will happen next here. Yeah, if you walk down this street here in Wadeview Park, it looks normal, right? There's a house on this lot. There's no house on this lot. But if you look behind the bushes here, you can see the guy without a house has put a fence on the guy with a house, making it clear where the property lines stand. Now everybody is asking, what's this guy do now? This home along Harding Street sat vacant for years, all because of a boundary dispute. The MLS listing says, quote, the pool and the garage are partially on the adjacent parcel and not included in this sale. Huh? It's such a mess that realtors don't even want to touch it. This realtor posting about it saying, quote, my job as a realtor is to help people buy and sell properties. Sometimes my job is to help people not to buy. So the house was just sold at an auction and now what was a dispute has been taken one step further. The owner of this lot seemed to have put up a fence right through the pool of the other guy's lot splitting the garage and that pool in half. That's where we stand now. We have a brand new owner of this house, and this is how they choose to make their statement to the new owner. Lisa Sconyers is a realtor and has lived across from the two properties for years. The history is long and sordid, but the easiest way to explain it is that both lots were owned by the same person, a house on each. He then sold them to the new owner, who then cleared the lots to build one big house. But that owner went into foreclosure and the lots were sold to two different people. So now this house is over the property line of the other lot. In the end, Scanier says this could have all been avoided. The city of Orlando didn't permit this the right way. What they should have made the, these people do is they should have made them replot the property into two separate properties. They never did that. Now we have reached out to both sides and the city. We're still waiting to hear back now. When it comes to this property here, this property owner is trying to get a petition. He's gone around to the neighbors, asking the neighbors to give him an exception to back it up because this lot isn't big enough for a house to allow a house to be built there. Now the neighbors are saying, I don't know if I can back you on that because you asked us to do that before you did this. And this problem still isn't solved. We're live in Orlando, Shannon Butler, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.